All right, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. All right, special FSD 12.3 video for you here today. We are back here on Georgetown Pike. This is a really narrow, sharp, curvy road, kind of cutting through a back mountain valley way here in Northern Virginia. And uh, we're gonna test out FSD version 12.3 on these very curvy roads to see how it drives. So this is Tesla's latest self-driving software. Just got released um, here late March and uh, we're doing my, this is my very first test run on Georgetown Pike. So I'm going to do some side-by-side -side comparison videos to show you how this stacks up to the previous version. And um, as, as well as I have videos that date back to 10.69 and before. So I've got like version 10.69, I've got 11.4, I've got 11.49, and now this is 12.3. And maybe even before that I've got 10.2. This is one of my typical routes and this is one of the sharpest turns on the route right here. And just look how smoothly FSD is doing this with cars coming at me in traffic at 5 p.m. Um, this this is a really curvy road and it that was by far the best I've seen it take that turn. I will um, compare it to some of the previous versions to show you like it would flick the indicator on at the top of that hill and it would take it very slowly sometimes it would get over the yellow line and and that was just executed perfectly as well as this turn too sometimes it takes it a little fast and uh it did that really nicely it didn't feel like it was dragging at all and uh really really smooth driving from this now you're not going to see any stop signs or anything like that in this video. This is a straightaway. We're on a old school highway. Um, this was built like er, like early 1900s, and uh, when it was built, this road it looked exactly like how it looks now. It's one of those uh, nature preserve roads and uh, areas, other than the lane markings some of these road signs everything back here is exactly uh, preserved as it was uh, you know built uh, created and you know intended to keep be kept that way we've got a really nice uh, river Potomac River just to the left of us here and it's like our place to hike so you can see it on the map right here this is the river that's us on the blue line and now it's telling me to pay attention to the road of course we're going to give it that little nudge and um yeah so this is like our spot to go hiking a lot of really cool rock formations if you google great falls virginia um that's basically where i'm at really sharp turn coming up right here we're going to see how fsd and it's at this point 12.3 is is a it's like a super version of fsd if you haven't got it yet you are in for an amazing treat um it is the chauffeur version of full self-driving it is the most human-like driver assistance tool that i've ever used and it outshines every previous version before it uh a lot and and the way to truly test it is in some like congested um, tricky parking lot areas with tough scenarios with cars coming at you right away situations this is where I um, I will be uploading more videos like that I've got a few already uploaded since the day I've got this update it hasn't even been a week yet and it's just been zero interventions I did have one system aboard for some reason and I did record it and I will be uploading that here very soon too. I'm not sure what why that happened. Other than that, it's been phenomenal. I mean, we're talking zero intervention from park to park, full autonomous driving, zero pedals, zero steering, 
just the occasional nudge. And uh, yeah, really, really phenomenal jobs uh, at doing it. This this has been a like an experience this week. Um, I truly uh, am just sitting back and, and watching it do its thing now. And it, it, who knows? Like this is about to get boring because you know it's gotten so good now, and uh, it's only going to improve from here too. But I, I really do plan to put it into some tough scenarios uh georgetown pike is is uh beautiful at this time of the year you got the flowers going this is prime cherry blossom season right now here in the dmp and it's a nice drive uh but as far as challenging goes it is windy and curvy but it doesn't really have any um complex situations as far as like cars um you know trying to turn stop sign situations intersections right away so I will check out my other videos to see some more like that but right now I just want to show you how it handles these back roads um, I know a lot of people have some roads close by them that look like this and uh, you know this, these are the type of roads where you would expect it not to work and you know people are always extra vigilant and um, you still want to be vigilant but you'll be surprised on how well FSD runs back here and uh, yeah there hasn't been any takeovers in this video at all I would have liked to seen how it uh, responds to the speed limit situation but I've had a car in front of me this entire drive so it's kind of hard to tell what it's gonna do this is like prime traffic 5 p.m. on a weekday and uh, I'm heading towards 495 here. So that's my goal is to get onto the Capitol Beltway and uh, hopefully no takeovers. But there's this part at the end of, of Georgetown Pike where cars like to pile up in the left lane. And then to make a left onto 495, is there, there's actually two lanes. But for some reason, no one goes in the right lane and everyone stays in the left lane. And they have to wait like sometimes two three light rotations where you can just get in the right lane and both of those lanes are left turn lanes so if I come down to that situation I typically will take over and uh, you know you know exercise my lane switching right and uh, get on the highway without having to sit back in some traffic for no reason hopefully FSD can figure that out and uh, let's see what it does in that situation if I get to that, which is just beyond this hill, which what an amazing turn it just took right there. Wow, I'm, I'm just, wow. It's don't become complacent is like what I keep telling myself. And uh, this is the time to explain, like really like explain to people, like you have to be super vigilant and um, yeah. So here we go. We're coming up on the Georgetown Pike Junction to 495. Looks like there's not too much traffic out at this moment, luckily. Sometimes it's like backed up all the way at the bottom of that hill. So let's see how we do. If we can um, kind of slide in here. It looks like the light is turning yellow. But again, no takeover so far. This is the part where I was talking about where people end up camping in the left lane. But what I'm going to do is actually get into my right lane because that is where it splits off. And oh no, it wouldn't let me switch lanes because there was cars coming and now I'm stuck. Interesting. Interesting. And this is exactly what I wanted to avoid and uh we're just gonna let it go since there's cars coming and if i take over right now i'm afraid the light may turn green anyways so we're just gonna let it go here and uh let's see if we can make our way on 495 
I want to thank everyone for making it this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Flawless drive here on Georgetown Pike, as expected. I've never actually had any issues on Georgetown Pike since version 10.2. So autopilot even works on Georgetown Pike. Basic autopilot works. I've tried it and uh, it, it works. It doesn't work as well as, as what you just saw. It's actually very different. You gotta maintain your speed and uh, you gotta watch out for some of those sharp turns. Um, you really, you gotta slow down the car using the scroll wheel when you're using autopilot. All right, good thing I actually didn't get stuck in this lane since now they're both congesting up, but we're looking to make a left immediately following this light here onto the Capitol Beltway, but there we go. Looks like we're getting stuck into the cycle again. So we're gonna go ahead and call it a wrap here. I wanna thank everyone for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, hit that like button if you did. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day.